What is up everyone, welcome back to our channel and welcome back to another episode of Modern Warfare 3 Zombies. My name is Miles Rowe and in today's video we'll be looking at probably the most broken combo of weapons that you guys can use into the new Elder Dark Aether and help you to complete all the contracts without the need of any wonder weapons. Now guys this is not a catchphrase and I'm sure that um, uh, you might have, have seen my previous videos, but we are just going to run two normal weapons um, and for my surprise, one of them is an absolute monster. Now, for that I need to say thank you to all of you because I have been told before to use this weapon and a big shout out to Sebastian which uh, had uh, prompted me in the last video to, to use that and for my surprise it's an absolute amazing amazing weapon to play with even though i was thinking that the rgl will be an unbeatable weapon to use with the dead wire detonator this is a million times better so it goes without saying that it is probably the best duo you still need something that has a really quick fire rate to kind of you know clear out some of this the areas but when it comes down to uh, big hordes the crossbow with the dead wire detonators makes a huge difference so let's quickly go and do this bounty Need a bit of a distraction there so probably one of the things that i was quite hesitant about using the crossbow as I'm playing on console and PlayStation 5, I do find it a bit difficult to kind of maneuver the crossbow simply because the aim is not necessarily um, as kind of good with the aim assist of the game. So that's probably the only reason I kind of avoided playing with it. But I did change my opinion completely about it, and it's actually a lot easier than I was thinking. So Probably you guys are going to see me uh, using this a bit more often moving forward. But yeah, this was just kind of the initial thought I had about it. Because of course it's, um, it's one of those things that you have to take in consideration. It does affect your gameplay. And I didn't want um, you know, to set some bad examples um, uh, here on the channel. But it goes before saying that it's absolutely fantastic and as you guys can see we've managed to take down this bounty so quickly. Right, I'm gonna have to take that self revive now. And again guys, with the, paired with the Renati, which I still think it's uh, probably one of the best conversion kits out there, um, it does make this kind of duo uh, really, really handy because you're going to find yourself in some areas where the crossbow, of course with the dead wire detonators, kind of, you know, freezes and uh, puts things on pause, but you still need the Renati to kind of clear out the rest. So. Having the quick fire rate, I think it's definitely the uh, uh, the key uh, uh, part about clearing zombies into the uh, new Elder Dark Aether. So just make sure to have a pair that kind of uh, complement it, it, it itself. Right. We're gonna put this sentry here and just crack on with the crossbow. I have a feeling he's gonna get pretty manic here, so let's see um, how well we're gonna do. Don't think I took the limb though, because it doesn't feel like I'm moving any faster. No, it's, uh, it's still there. It's gonna break out. It's pretty amazing that um, it works actually so well with the crossbow. Um, 
I was a bit skeptical and of course seeing other people playing with it, he, um, he gave me a bit of confidence um, and it's definitely one of those weapons that it's just a sleeper, you don't expect it to be so good. Of course he had its own kind of time when cross the crossbow at the beginning was, you know, the, uh, the meta weapon of uh, Modern Warfare 3 Zombies. But then you know, it kind of died off because they kind of nerfed it because of the Thermite uh, uh, bolt. So now seeing it back alive, it's absolutely amazing. Okay, so the contract goes pretty smoothly so far. And there we have it, guys. So, uh, I don't think it was as bad as uh, with the thought. Right, let's go to the escort mission. I think this is usually the challenge, especially when you don't play with a um, with wonder weapon, uh, more specifically the VR11. And that's because your, um, um, your ACV tends to take a lot of damage so yeah let's see how this actually does now okay let's put it at the wire there nice okay Let's switch on crossbow. And the thing that I find amazing with it is that he actually takes um, takes down the um, um, HVTs the most faster than most of the other weapons. Maybe because the projectiles are explosive and you know shooting a couple of damage the same as throwing thermite in the eye of a mega abomination um, but it, it's a pretty good going uh, uh, a weapon it definitely brings um, quite a bit of confidence into uh, into making uh, this run uh, as efficient as possible so yeah i'm pretty pleased i uh, i finally um, gave it a go Okay, so so far so good guys. I wouldn't um, I don't imagine we're gonna have many problems. Usually the benchmark is that if uh, by the end of the second stop we have beyond 50% as health, we should be fine. Um, if it's the other way around, it's probably not no good sign. So yeah, let's let's see. But in terms of your uh, view so far have you guys seen uh, my latest video which is um, uh, regarding tips and tricks on how to get um, uh, around the elder dark if quicker and if you haven't watched it it's gonna be now on the screen so make sure to, uh, to watch it afterwards it's quite interesting and I thought to kind of give you guys some ideas on how to approach the, um, the new uh, dark if Alright, so here this is pretty quiet so far. Yeah, the dead wire that is are definitely making a huge difference with this weapon. And even when I was playing prior to the Dark Aether, it actually uh, felt uh, pretty steady as well during the tier 3 area. So. Yeah, it's definitely a good all-rounder, um, but then again, 
I would pair it with something, something that is uh, it's missing. So in our case, having a good fire rate is probably what makes the difference. Um, and also it goes without saying, this is gonna help you in the tier three area to navigate it faster. So yeah, just uh, just make sure you uh, you kind of take this on board. Obviously, digest it the way you want it. Um, but this is just my personal preference and what I've seen it kind of work. So yeah. Okay, nearly there, one more stop left, we are about 50%, so, so far we are sticking to the plan. Nice. Um, I think we successfully managed to do the third contract as well. And then again, guys, I mean, pretty sure you can see this, but it feels so easy. Um, it's just one of those things that I, I was generally not expecting. Um, it, it's funny also how small changes like this in someone's gameplay makes the experience a lot better um so yeah i would definitely definitely suggest the crossbow it's uh, it's worthwhile it's a beautiful weapon and it just helps you uh, navigating these areas faster okay so let's try also the spool we've got um about three minutes so hopefully this would um be enough for us Okay, this is the last one. This, this area always gets kind of congested here, especially when you play solo, so just be careful not to kind of fall into a trap of uh, knowing where you're going. Let's focus on getting the last one done. Okay, so let's see if we can get this guy down. How rude he's uh, absorbing our health. Okay, so he called in his reinforcements. Which, from the looks of things, we will get down quite quickly, so that's, uh, that's a good sign. Ok, 
Okay, but I think, guys, this might be as far as we can go. The gas seems to uh, have closed down, so probably gonna have to uh, make a move to here. Uh, It's time to expel, but there we have it, guys. This is uh, pretty much the, uh, in my opinion, the best run you can have with normal weapons. Um, the need of uh, one weapon is literally not existing here. So I do hope you guys liked it. The loadout will pop up on the screen now. And as always, guys, thanks so much for watching. Thanks so much for the support. Stay tuned. There's a really good video coming up, which. I hope it will help you guys as well. Um, but for the time being, please leave your comment, a like, and if you haven't already, subscribe. It will help the channel. And as always, guys, see you in the next video soon.